Ayong Adlov, Ania Kita Karon, Sating Ulan Sa Pisaya. With drenching rain and typhoons for up to eight months of the year, growing healthy vegetable crops in this region is a real challenge. Yields are low and so are farmer incomes. But that may soon become a problem of the past, thanks to the success of a protected cropping project conducted at Versailles State University and funded by the Australian Centre for International Agricultural Research. The project team has developed easy to build, low cost protective structures and they're delivering impressive results. Among nahibawaan nga ang kawayan, mas barato, mas ligon nga material para itukod og struktura nga muhatag og proteksyon sa mga tanom. Ang nakaayo ni ining paggamit sa struktura mao ang pagtaas sa abot o ani panahon sa tingulan or off season pilo-piloon 2 to 5 times kung ikumpara sa tanom gawa sa struktura. The funding together with expertise from Australian and Filipino scientists has been used to employ research staff, buy equipment and consumables and to build structures. So far, 14 structures of varying designs have been built both at the university and on farms such as this one at Bontoc. The first two crops I planted were lettuce and uh, bitter gourds or ampalaya. And then I had a good price because they were planted during the rainy days. The plants in the open are not so healthy as compared to the inside. Boy Girona used the profit from his first crops to repair his water pump and install a trickle irrigation system. Before we used to, to get a fish water from the river bank uh, and from that river uh, using that carabao, carabao using that uh, cart, uh, we have to fetch around 172 water jugs in the morning and uh, no, 72 in the morning and 72 in the afternoon, so 144 water jugs every day. The process of next cropping will be used to buy uh, fine nets to enclose the structure uh, to, pre to protect my plants against insects uh, so that it will be 100% pesticide or insecticide free. At Lao, Joseph Sanchez is ahead of his target to recoup the cost of his structure in one year. Na kuha na ko sa ako first cropping uh, almost uh, half of the katunga sa uh, cost sa structure. Ang ako ma historia sa uh, structure taas kayo ang kalidad ug ang ang abot sa utanon na sa structure gawas pa maprotektahan ang imong panglawas. And at Cabintan, Noel Morales, who's renowned in the district for his passion for new farming innovations, has achieved yield increases of more than 200 per cent. Tungod ni aning a protective structure, ang akong abot, mi taas, o ang kalidad ni ani, mi maayo po. Example, ang akong kamatis, kada punuan, mi harvest o tag isa ka kilo o tunga. Pero sa gawas, mi Harvest lang o 400 gramos matagpunuan. The project team has been carefully monitoring all the trial sites and the data they are collecting clearly shows the advantages of growing vegetables under protective structures compared to the open field. Since it began in 2008, the project has expanded with support from private organisations including the East West Seed Company and the Energy Development Corporation which is financing the building of several new structures. Ang mga mga farmers dere, mo prefer sila sa protected uh, structure. Tungod kay dinhi nga among lugar daghan magod permi ang ulan. So, kanang mga structure, uh, protected structure, mas maayo na nila dere kay makatanom sila og mga uh, pananom, mga vegetables nga dili dasag o Local government units also play a key role. Ang sidad sa maasin ang mitabang pinagi sa paghatag o pagbansay-bansay sa ato mga mag-uuma. 
uh, binhi, uh, bono, chemicals, pinagi sa interest-free nga pahuam, o paghatag o marketing assistance, pinagi sa pagpalit sa ilang abot o kuhaan na lang sa ilang loan nga nakuha ikan sa sudad. Everyone involved agrees that protected cropping is a resounding success. But there is still more research to be done, controlling pests and diseases and making further improvements to the structures. Nangita mi og maayong pamaagi sa pagkulikta sa tubig sa uwan nga magamit panahon sa tinginit. Og ingon man naghunahuna mi og maayong pamaagi nga matangtang kining plastic nga atop panahon sa tinginit. The project team is now also focused on encouraging more farmers to set up their own protected cropping system. Ang atong gibuhat pagdasig o ma, mga mag-uuma, pag-adapt ni ining teknolohiya, mao ang paghimo o farmers field day o adlaw sa mag-uuma o ato usang giimbitar ang local government units para sa continuous support sa atong mag-uuma o ang mga negosyante nga maoy mo palit sa mga produkto sa kaumahan sa atong mag-uuma. Ang suporta sa local government units, importante ini para magmalampuson ining atong protected structures. Primero, para sa pundo, kay medyo mahal man ang pagbuhat ining protected structure. Ang ikaduha, ang provide o technical assistance kay lagi ang local government units mao may duol sa atong mag-uuma. Dako kayo og tabang kini nga proyekto sa atong mga mag-uuma o sa atong economy dinhi sa region. Onya ang ato kong kalampusan ni ini nga programa ni lapas sa among gidahom. Ando smile mo usa na kaplat sa libro na. Dako kayo ang among pasalamat sa gobyerno sa Australia, sa ACR o ang iyang mga kaubanan or partners niya sama sa PNOC sa East West Seeds o importante yung kayo ang atong local government units. Because of this project and the new technology that has been developed, Filipino farmers here in Leyte can now grow vegetables even in the wettest and windiest of seasons. They will no longer need to go to cities to look for jobs to supplement their farm incomes. And importantly, the whole community will reap the economic benefits and the health benefits of a reliable year-round supply of fresh, affordable, locally produced vegetables. Thank you.